There was a lot of clickbait going around over the holiday break there. If you would like to, I want to give you the opportunity to speak about Merle, your ex. Uh, bom, é... deu um pouco difícil de falar, né? É... Bom, porque para mim, eu já deletei né, essa pessoa da minha vida. É... E gostaria de pedir para os meus fãs também que, pô, deletasse ela da vida de vocês, né? Foi uma pessoa que eu acreditei. Coloquei dentro da minha casa, né, junto com a minha família, e no final de tudo, é, descobri que ela era casada. And that, um, that hurt. You know, don't think because this man is one of the toughest men on the planet that he's not hurting inside, but he did what he had to do. When someone lies to you or portrays you, you got to delete him out of your life. He's not only a great fighter, but obviously he's not a simp, which is good to see, unlike a few other fighters that we've seen. So for starters, his wife is 40 years old and 14 years older than Ian Gary. Ian Gary's wife's ex-husband is his nutritionist and they all live together. I beg your pardon. And an even funnier fact is that Ian Gary took his wife's last name, which is her ex-husband's last name, which is his nutritionist. And this shit gets even better because his wife wrote a book on how to be a wag. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! WNBA. Let's just be honest. I'm not going to be offensive when I say this. WNBA, NBA. Who watches what? Who makes more money? Women's MMA? Sure, have women's MMA. Have it a fucking thing. I don't like to watch it. I don't think most people like to watch it. And if the females in MMA were to separate from a male MMA, no one's going to watch this shit. Do you want to watch a fucking sports car race a fucking Honda Civic? No, you want to watch a fucking sports car. There is a vast difference between men and women. I mean, you even take this weak little Canadian sitting next to you. He could probably beat up fucking Raquel, Raquel Pennington. The fact of the matter is, like, any one of you could probably beat our co-main event in a fight. I'm not saying you can't sit there and fucking enjoy it, but, like, I want I don't want to go see fucking two fucking little cats fight. I want to see lions fight. I do have to say that women's MMA is a lot better than the WNBA or women's football. It's one of the few female sports I can actually watch. And I've seen some good female fights, and I remember when Ronda Rousey was at the top, she was doing huge numbers. She's probably doing more numbers than Sean Strickland's doing now. But yeah, like most physical sports, I enjoy watching the men more like most people, and that's why it makes more money. You obviously give a long leash to your fighters about you know what they can say when they are up there with a UFC microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia, transphobia, like is there... I don't give anybody a leash. Well, I'm saying you... A leash? I'm st like... Free speech. I control when... what people say. Gonna tell people what to believe. Gonna tell people. I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes on any of them. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on though. Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. You sh that's ridiculous to say I give somebody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want and they can believe whatever they want. If And I don't think there's any... Uh, we had, we, had, we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event. They sat on the stage with Sean Strickland. They could give a shit what Sean Strickland thinks or what he says or what his beliefs are, or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? Well said. Whether you're a fan or not, if there were more people with Dana White's way of thinking, I think we'd have a lot less donuts wandering around asking these stupid questions. This next generation is just such a fucking group of pussies, man. Does this look very inclusive? I don't care if it's nature. If I'm a plus size human, I can't get through this. Look, I can barely get through it going this way. And I'm a slender white male who recognizes my privilege. Look at this, look what I gotta do. What about the people that wanna hike to get in shape, but they're not quite slim enough to get through here? Can we get some dynamite in here? Blow it up, make it a little wider. I'm just saying, California State Parks do better in 2024. Your hamburger comes with a dose of misogyny. What? The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. What the fuck are you talking about? Our whiteness is part of the problem of meat eating. Meat eating is also one of the ways gender-based structures of oppression are perpetuated. Men in the West are taunted to renew their man card by eating meat because that's what real men do. That's the sexual politics of meat and it reveals how unsettled masculinity really is. That's why after 9-11, <laughs> no 
Nope. When a black man was elected as U.S. president, we saw how white this wounded masculinity was. Images of milk-drinking white men and the baiting of liberal men as so-called soy boys are all part of the neo-Nazi <laughs> messaging. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? See, this is another reason why free speech is so important, so we can let the donuts expose themselves and then we can use it for entertainment. Because believe it or not, this Muppet's actually being serious. And as you can see, they're just laughing and using it as comedy, because that's what it is. She's a stand-up comedian, and she's one of the few female comedians that actually made me laugh. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm glad my mother was a woman. I had a question. Sure. Oh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. I don't think I told you. My name's Mercury. Nice to meet you. Why are you here? Okay, I, I, I've been asked that question a lot. First of all, that question should not even have to be asked, but when people stop talking, really bad stuff starts. When marriages stop talking, divorce happens. When civilizations stop talking, civil war ensues. When you stop having a human connection with someone you disagree with, it becomes a lot easier to want to commit violence against that group. What we as a culture have to get back to is being able to have reasonable disagreement where violence is not an option. Do you think that's not emotional violence? How is this, what is emotional violence, by the way? That, I don't know what that is. It is harm intentionally perpetrated on another person, be, another human being, that is intentionally targeted at their emotional well-being. Okay, so feelings mean nothing to me. Isn't why we had the First Amendment to try to push our boundaries and to hear things that might make you mildly uncomfortable? This doesn't make me mildly uncomfortable. Does it make you very uncomfortable? It makes me angry. These Muppets are not capable of having a conversation with somebody that goes against their beliefs. They all need Michael. Get some help. You can see the disappointment in the dad's face, and this is exactly why I want sons. I can't. No, come on. Wait, why? Why? Is it because you? It's just too early for that. You have. Wait, no, 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 no. I think I know why. Why? Do you have a boyfriend? Don't lie. I have people that love me. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes or no? She does it. Be honest. Yeah. Wait, you have a boyfriend? I have someone that really. No, just be honest. Just be honest. Yeah. You can just be honest. Yeah. It's okay. He's a person who really loves me. And do you love him? You love him. Yeah. So you got a boyfriend and you just kissed my man's on the cheek, <laughs> which means that you technically just, just cheated. cheated. I didn't just cheat because I never said I had a boyfriend. I said I have people that love me. No. You just don't listen, baby. No, baby. You have a you, bro. You what? have a boyfriend. Wait, do you have a boyfriend? It's okay if you do. You it's, have one. I have a boo. I'm in the process of dating. Oh. To find a husband. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that, you know. Make the face. People don't want me because people <laughs> want me. But at the same time, I just, I'm here to find a husband, not a boyfriend. You're not, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So I'm dating. I'm definitely dating. So you, and I have people. But you're know. a cheater, though, aren't you? Yeah, you like, cheated just now. It's not cheating. Like, bro, it, bro, it, if, if that was me and I was watching the stream and I would just see my girl kiss a dude on the cheek, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. But I'm single. I'm not, I'll, okay, she's single. I'm not in a relationship. I just have people that would be upset. If the men that she's involved with have standards, then they'll send her where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. 